Hello, this is Becca from Willow Hill Designs, and thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is just a, a quick video to share my day 26 of the Junk Journal January 2024, which is hosted by Meg Journals. And this is the last page in my second signature, and here is the page that I came up with. Um, I've sewn my signature together. It's all sewn, so I can't really take this page out. But maybe if I go like this, it's a little bit better. Um, so for the background of this page, I just did some inking and a little bit of stamping. This is with the um, Distress Oxide Ink Worn Lipstick. And also there's some coffee dyeing on this paper as well. And um, so I took some tags from a book that was a, a journal that was given to me by my friend Barbie from Nellie and Ruth Designs. And um, I give a shout out to her because she really does beautiful, beautiful paper art. Um, if you would like to go check her out, check her ch channel out, Nellie and Ruth Designs. And um, she does some really beautiful work. So these these two tags are from the journal that Barbie had given me. I hope you don't mind, Barbie, that I took them out, but I love them so much. So I put one tag here in the background and the second tag on top and um, just put some washi tape here so that it would be like a flip. And I'll, I'll give you a close-up of her tags. They're really very beautiful. I just love the way she added this paper and then inked around that the edges. I, I just love the way that looks. So for translucent, I thought I would just make a little envelope. And that's what I did here. I used this vellum, which is gridded. Um, I had a few sheets of this. I had made some envelopes out of this for my cigarette silks. And um, I thought it would keep them in nice condition. And um, they just slip right in here in these little envelopes. Oop, I should put those down. And it really does protect them. I, I'd like to put them in a quilt someday. But that's what these are, just some little vellum envelopes. So I kind of took my cue from that. I, I wasn't sure what to do with translucent. So I made this envelope. I put a few sunflower petals on it um, because inside I have a pressed flower and this is in wax paper. I love to um, press flowers from the garden and just dry them. I dry them in all sorts of containers, um, little decorative containers. I love them. And uh, this was a pansy that I had dried quite a while ago. So that's in some trans something translucent and I put some seeds in there. These are Buzzy Seeds from BuzzySeeds.com and they're chrysanthemums and um, <clears throat> uh, Daisy Silver Princess Chrysanthemum Maximum. So I love this little pack and I inked it up a little bit and I thought that that would be nice to put in my my um, translucent little envelope here. So it's kind of hidden behind these tags. And that is the very last page in this signature. I have the first signature and this one all sewn together. And these are my little gum nut babies, which I absolutely love. On the page before the last page. So that is my rendering for Translucent. So thank you very much for joining me today, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.